Hello YouTube. This video is to show you how to change your hard drive in your NVIDIA Shield. NVIDIA Shield Pro 500 gigabyte. They come with a hybrid drive. Um, I think they're faulty. I've had mine for about a year and it slowed down like dramatically. So a lot of people are having issues with hard drives failing or slowing down or they just want it to run faster with the SSD hard drive. So this video is for you. With that said, this is only for the 2017 Shield Pro. Um, I have heard that the 15, 2015 version does work the same as this, but I haven't tried it myself, so I can't confirm that. I'm going to be using the 860 Evo Samsung. Um, other hard drives will work, but I, like I said, I've only tried with this hard drive. Um, they're they're available. You can get them at Best Buy and online, and they're easy to get. But you do have to get the 500 gigabyte model. You can't get a 512 or something like that. And I think it's going to work. It has to be a 500 gigabyte hard drive. But I do recommend to get the 860 Evo Samsung because it's the only one that I've used to do this process. Okay, let's get started. Flip it over. If, uh, I mean, anywhere you can get your fingernail in, or screwdriver, I recommend your fingernail because you don't want to put dents and grooves. But as soon as you hear that little pop, you should be okay. You just kind of move your finger along. See how it's just coming around? Hopefully, you can see that. Just work your way all the way around. Or screwdriver. Okay. And the bottom part comes off. Set that to the side. Give you a look at it. Really not much to it. See, I've already put my solid state in here, but it's the same thing. So, normally there's a big piece of tape right here. Kind of goes like this. Just pull that piece of tape off. It's kind of hard to get off, but work at it, you'll get it off. So, pull that off first. And then work on this other piece of tape over here. Just get it. You don't have to pull it all the way off. I didn't the first time. It's on there. Even the second time it's thick. Just get it out of the way so it's not bothering the hard drive to come out. Alright. So, got this little guy here. Wiggle it out of there. Not a big deal. Everybody likes to use tools and screwdrivers and stuff. I don't know. Occasionally. Shouldn't tug on the wires though, you know. Make sure nothing breaks. So there you go. We got our two wires loose. Now the only one left is this guy. And he's the pain in the butt. So there's a little little tiny flap right here. I'll bring it closer so you can see it. But there's a little flap 
right here. You have to just pull up on it. See how it popped up? Once you get that up, it will slide out. Now, hopefully my memory serves me correctly. But I believe the easiest way to do this is to pull the hard drive up this way and slide it out. And then this will slide out with it. But first we gotta tackle the screw. I don't know what size this is. Um, it's it's a star bed of sort. But what I used is I had a um, eyeglass kit, had a little screwdriver with it. I believe this is the screwdriver I used. And it came right out. So it doesn't have to be, it isn't in there really tight. So it comes out pretty easy. Has a little bracket on it. There's your bracket with the little screw in it. Put that off to the side. Do not lose anything. And it should be able to pull up on the hard drive. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> it should have popped out. pull to the left. See how it just pulled out? Everybody has such a time with that and it's really not that difficult. Now this part, this is your, you know, your SATA cable and power cable in one. So it's stuck on here with an adhesive. You gotta kind of be careful because if you break these, I don't even know if you can get them online or anything. So be delicate if you can. I might see it. It's harder than that usually. Mine has already been taken off. And yet again with nails. Looks like I might be able to pull this off maybe if I get lucky. Put your finger in there, there, and voila. That's simple. That's how you take the hard drive out. And to put it back in, same process in reverse. All right, now you have your hard drive out of your shield. Now, how do you hook it up to your computer to transfer the data to the SSD? Well, there's about a hundred different ways to do it. One way would be to use a USB attachment as power cable and a data cable. Um, for instance, you have to have a SATA cable and Plug into the SATA port. And then SATA port into your data cable. And then that can go directly into your USB on your computer. Of course, you have to have power to it though. So this is your power brick. And here's the SATA power port. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> so you plug the port into the wall, and then your port into the computer. So that's one way of doing it. Kind of sloppy, but it does work. if you had an external hard drive that you could actually take apart and put the shield hard drive inside of there and then hook it up through USB to your computer that way. That's another way to do it. 
This one I've actually taken apart quite a bit. You just take that hard drive out, put the new one in. Every model is different, so I can't tell you how to take it apart or put it back together. But that is one option. But what I'm going to show you this is the best way, in my opinion. it up to your computer it's the best way to do it flat out it's cheap everyone has the stuff on hand to do it if you have a desktop computer and we're going to jump into that next okay here we go first you have to take the side panel off so take your two screws out pull your panel off Unplug your computer, then hit the power button, and that will drain all the juice that's left in the computer out. Okay, now, if you don't have an extra SATA cable, you'll have a SATA cable going to your CD-ROM. Um, you simply just unplug it from your CD-ROM. It's already hooked up, and then you hook it into the hard drive. But in this case... I have an extra SATA cable and I'm just going to use it. So I connected my SATA cable to the motherboard directly. Any port, doesn't matter. Any open SATA port, which are these guys right here. There's almost always an open one. Um, and as far as the power for the hard drive, there's usually, you know, a few extra open ports on your power supply. So in my case I have a modular power supply, but it doesn't matter. Plug that in. Okay, so now we have power and data. sure you plug them in the correct way do not force hard and ruin the hard drive because this hard drive is very important you need the data off of this hard drive voila it's hooked up it is ready to transfer